Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 12. The Zodiac Age. Pinello has silence, and there's not a damn thing I can do about it, so that's great. But we're just gonna carry on at the moment anyway. Maybe if I kill her, and then bring her back to life, she'll be healed. <clears throat> she'll be rid of her status effect. Ogre Yinsa Sansi. Yes, we're in a desert. So, where exactly is Rayquaza's tomb? Far to the west. We must first cross Yogi the Yensa, and beyond that, the Nam Yensa, before we reach the tomb. An expanse of desert larger still than all of Delmasca. We must pace ourselves. If you grow tired, we stop and take rest. You don't have to worry about me. I'm tougher than I look. You are with that. Trying to keep me from this chest. So that's what that was. All right, Penelope's about to die. And she's still silent. Why are you silenced? Why? Just, just get out of the party. I, 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 no words. 
No words. A win, that's what that is. <laughs> win, of course. I need to start using some of these. There you go. That's why she's silenced. Yet again, uh, I make a clown out of myself. There it is. It just hit me and I got to thinking, maybe just maybe Pinello is, is wearing something that's causing her to be silenced. Yep. Bada boom.
I think red might be who's being targeted. So Yvonne is glowing red. Uh, down in his, down in the, uh, in the, the HUD. His name is glowing red, so that means he's being targeted. It took me 25 episodes to figure that out, but uh, yeah, I think, I think that's what that means. He is the one being targeted. Now the other one's targeting Althea, so now he's glowing red. I eventually got something. Come on. First try. I mean, besides Pinello's theme, I'll just say, like, the rest of this music's just kind of boring. Like, I just kind of miss, like, the over-the-top, maybe, in-your-face music from older Final Fantasy games. Where'd you come from? Why are you here? Imagine my surprise when upon my return to Bojerba, I find both you and the Lady Ash have vanished. I thought you above consorted with Sky Pirates. Malthir is a man worthy of our trust, trust, and it was the Lady Ash's decision. I am content to lend my arm. As I could not when Rasla died, when her throne was taken. Never again. I will defend her this time. You walk the night path. The Lady Ash? He is a knight. That's the job I gave him. We should leave this place. 
Let me guess. Let me guess. Sandstorm? Sandstorm? Something, Something far worse. worse. Her animal senses are tingling. I see. I see. So the Dawn so Shard does lie in King Wraithwall's tomb. The Marquis sympathizes with your plight, yet the Empire perches as a carrion bird on his shoulder. He can keep whispers of your abduction silent for only so long. Yes, yes. tell me, Rosler, what have you accomplished? We leave at once. This is Ulutan Yensa territory, and they are unfond of visitors. Looks like we've attracted the wrong sort of attention. Let's quit this place while we still can. Move! Vossler! Have you found the means to restore Damascus? First, we must claim the Dawn Shard. It all begins with that. Cool. Let yeah, that seven spot. That's just gonna be open for Gus. Vossler. So these are our six party members, six permanent party members, I guess. Damn, Bosler's helping make short work of these things, that's for sure. I might need to get a... I'm gonna have to get Balthier to help me with the steals here. Saying people.
But yeah, I just think video games in general these days kind of have boring soundtracks. I haven't really been too moved with this soundtrack for the most part. Uh, I really like Pinello's team though. I'll give it that one, but uh. Square Enix, they're the king. They are the kings of video game music. You got some moves, but it was just a matter of time. Golden Amulet? Accessory 6 is needed. Fucking Bothier might have that. Double license points earned. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's go for it. Goodbye. Oh, he dodged it. I got some more Echo Herbs after wasting three of them for no reason.
Oh. Balthier leveled up. I'll wait for Vaughn and Pinello to level up before I switch out party members. Heal up. Where am I even supposed to be going? Uh, I mean, just going through all this took a fucking while. Damn. Got all this shit. Alright, Vaughn's leveled up.
Wizard's hat. You know what? I'm going to do this real quick. Ash isn't, she doesn't seem to be attacking unless I tell her to, to attack. Bond's probably gonna die here. No? Ash seems to be wearing shorts under her little mini skirt. Mirror's visible. I swear her cure is doing more than Pinello's.
I don't think I've needed to heal Vossler once. Attack her. Attack him. She's just not attacking fast at all. Okay, so those three are all of them are at level 14 so now we're gonna completely change the party put both here back in Fran and Bosch yeah I'll be Bosch. Whoa, I was... It seems like whoever I am is usually whoever takes the most damage. I feel like Bosch might be able to handle damage better. I'll say that. Firestone. Are we hitting? We're not even hitting this thing. Did we kill it? We did it? Okay, cool. Does Libra only like... I guess that might only uh, access more information in the bestiary. Wyvern. That was the first. That was my first time coming across a wyvern in this game. I don't really remember coming across wyverns in other games, but I guess, I guess I do. This strain of dragon possesses both the sharpened talons of a tyrant worm and the wings of a wyvern. The later, the latter having been traded for four limbs at some point, and the creature's eons long development, particularly fond of the flesh of the Dam Dambania fish, they wheel through the upper air, searching with keen eye for the next meal. Or the same strain, the more aged individuals are called bell wyvern, bell wyvern, thought to be emissaries of the war gods for their effect on warriors in the field who are inspired to great acts of foolhardy courage and bravery by the mere sight of the of these mighty creatures in motion alaroon alaroon a curiously sentiment plant-like creature favoring warm climes both tropical and arid the horns on their head are used for cracking salt rock salt from which they draw the salinity that sustains their life. The vines spreading like a mask from their necks have led to the classification of these creatures as a subvariety of Mandara Mandragora. Apparently, however, the distinctive viney rough is a source of much frustration to the creatures, and they can often be seen clawing at them looking much like irritated pets clawing at the leash. 
Agri Yensa Sansi, a desert region in the west of the Jad Yensa, most of it's most of it covered in fine grain sand that ebbs and flows like water compared from antiquity to a, to a sea. Abandoned drilling rigs can be found here and there, dotted about the ever-shifting terrain. In the past, the Rosarian Empire sought to draw rich oils from the ground here, but relentless attacks from the Urutanyensa, who consider the sand sea to be solely theirs, drove them away. Men are now a rare sight inside the desert borders. I scanned the, the wyvern, but like I feel like I would have gotten the observations anyway, even without scanning it. Yurutin Yensa. Race evolved from cru crustaceans to bipedal humanoids. Their hides are extremely hard covered with stiff bristles of needle-like hair. Customarily, they wrap themselves in cloth. Though whether this is for protection against the elements or to hide their hideous appearance, none can say. Extremely aggressive by nature, all attempts at integrating Urutenyensa into Hume culture have ended in tragedy. Though they recognize no state, they are fiercely territorial in war between Urutenyensa tribes and insistent. Letter to a Wayfarer by dearest Palania, my close examination and painstaking translation of the text you sent me a fortnight since is finished. I send you the results with all haste. The text is question the text in question was written in an ancient time, yet it offered only nominal resistance to my keen interpretive eye. It is nothing other than the Memoranda of an ancient crafter of weaponry, though as to whether what it records is a truth or merely a fiction, I must confess I suspect the latter. I await your return with bated breath and ask you bring something off something offering a modicum more challenged, though my expectations remain as always humble. Yours, Forrester Archaeus. I have five of these for this motherfucker. Project Memorandum 2, 29, 26, 27, delivery complete, 1, 27, 27, received complaint, the target was in fact a dragon of some power, tell me these things sooner, yet one must not complain in one's patron, on bended knee and with head hung low, submitted I a tally of additional costs and fees for which I was only reimbursed after much hemming and hauling. I will not forget this. 52727. How to defeat that which cannot be defeated. Nightly, I ponder. Okay. Project M Memorandum 3, 62827. Tis hot, unbearably so. I find this season most unpalatable. Be that as it may, I have devised a plan for this project. When one does not know the strength of one's foe, one must first observe. Then, was, then one must attain the necessary strength to defeat the enemy. My weapon will be a learning, growing entity. 629-27. Growth latisse in place. Had I not made it myself, indeed, I would say it lived. Yet all that lives must have a mother. And so that is what I shall make next. 1430-27. The mother is completed and continues her growth. So too grows her brood, for daily she gives birth to small, irrevocable weapons. Like their mother, they too have the appearance of small coffers. Tis much like the laying of eggs one might witness in the wilds, and as such is quite fascinating. Yet at the rate, my laboratory will soon be filled with coffers, returning current stock 
to storage. Is that like Sid or some some guy? Are these from Sid? Maybe. Damn, Fothier is almost, he'll, be, he'll almost be at level 15 by the time Brandon gets to level 14. Oh shit, I did not mean to fucking hit that, damn it. Oh well. I don't know if it changed anything. Maybe.
Whoa. getting turned around I've been back here before right I was just looking for chests. I think I've been back here. The enemies just respawn. I guess. Whatever. Okay, well, I'm going to end this one here. So until next time.